The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the August 23rd. That's right. It's August 23rd, the magical, magnificent Monday edition of today's Trader Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, well, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what the bulls and the bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But more important than that, that's this. During this next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, hey, we've got you covered there, too. Go ahead. Send me an email. Send it early. Send it to steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question and in our Tiger's Den. Any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on magnificent, magical, marvelous Monday. Of course, this is Tiger. Financial News Network, I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. All the U.S. indices trading the upside. The Dow up by 300, the S&P 47, the NASDAQ 100, 234, the Russell 35, semis 80, trannies 170. You've got gold up 21 bucks, silver up 54 cents, lights we crude 344, natural gas up 6 cents, 30-year treasury is up just two ticks. She's trading at 165.26. Leading the charge dollar-wise, the upside Amazon up 76 bucks, Google 71. You've got uh, booking holdings 41, Bionitech up 36. Monday is having a good Monday. It's up 31 buckaroonies, that's 9%. To the downside, it's IDEX Laboratories off 7 bucks, Dexcom down 7, Illumina down 6, Cytime, Sit time some 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 kind of time is uh trading down five bucks and regenerate regen cell bioscience is off four bucks nothing nothing really significant from a, a dollar wise or even percentage wise uh, to the downside just that regen cell biosciences that's off about 24 percent of five bucks so let's uh, look at that we'll go take a look at the uh Let's just do this. We have, we have two requests. One request is from the Tiger's Den for Mr. Bill. Just wanted to take a look at Amazon. So let's do that here uh, real quickly. Then we'll take a look and we'll stride into the regular, to the markets, what the markets are doing, what they're communicating to us. So as we take a look at Amazon, here's what we know. There's a brand new bullish structured profile, Mr. Bill, that formed today. As you can see, price is well above. So you've got really a couple different patterns. We know there was a TD9 count pattern that completed on Friday. That was the bar following bar number uh, nine. Now today you've got a confirmed A to B equals CD pattern out here, and that's because we've got the uh, bullish reversal signal. Now, let me get rid of this. Where is price uh, headed to? Well, one level to be watching and observing is going to be 33.21. 33.21. That is the top of its daily profile. Above that, 33.52. 33.52 is the bottom of its weekly profile. So those are two target areas. There's a third target area. We'll see that when we pull over our daily chart out here. And that is going to show us first, it'll show the TD9 count bottom that formed on Friday. And then second, It'll show us that we've got a TD9 breakdown level at the 33.58 area. So price is above that oscillator and change line. So it really does need to close above 32.66 today. If it doesn't, what does that mean? It just means that it's not as bullish um, as it could be. But closing above that, and this red oscillator and change line, closing above that and that bullish structured profile, Mr. Bill, is really suggesting 3321, 3358, and those other numbers that I gave you before. So everything looks hunky dory here. If we look at a quick 30 minute time frame chart, uh, Amazon should begin to 
uh, slow its advance because bar number nine is being formed. So that says that one between one thirty and two is when we would have a 30-minute TD9 count. And that may just pull price back. I, I'm not saying that's going to do it uh, during the afternoon. This may be a sideways move. But do understand on a 30-minute basis, you do have a short-term topping pattern that is uh, basically in place. Well, well, it'll certainly be in place at at, uh, at 1.30. Looks like it's going to be in place as we speak right now. So that's what I see when I take a look at the charts for Amazon, ticker symbol AMZN. Mr. Bill, I hope that helps you out. Now, let's go take a look at the general markets out here. In general markets, we begin by taking a look at our for equity futures contracts. What we see here, new all-time highs for the ES, new all-time highs for the NQ, the Dow above a bearish structured profile. That suggests make and run for its all-time high. And now the Russell 2000, which is a bearish structured daily profile, should target the 22-23 level. So we just simply begin there. If we take a look at the weekly charts out here, the weekly profiles, here's what we see with regard to and there, I had some weekly profiles on the other page, but this is just another easy way for you to see exactly where we're at inside the markets. Remember, the bottom of those weekly profiles is muy importante. You do not get a change in trend signal until you see a close below the bottom of those. Well, we're not talking about the bottom of those right now. Although it's just Monday, it is just the beginning of the week, but nonetheless, it's the way to start the week off, which is the ES Mini trading above the top of its weekly profile. That is uber bullish. The NQ trading above the top of a bearish structured weekly profile the same inside the Dow so the Dow right now trained above its bearish structured weekly profile that says the all-time highs get tested and inside the Russell 2000 it is a bullish structured profile if price can close above 22 23 50 this week that means Friday that would be a signal of a move up to the 23 22 so there's your daily and there is your weekly profiles as far as taking a look at maybe some other information where is price targeting where is the ES headed to well the level that I've got on the ES right now one level is 45.67. We're at 44.85. That seems like a, a foregone conclusion. That is the spread, the Fibonacci expansion spread of the swing points from back in uh, 2020, from the February 2020 high down to the March 2020 low. And that gives us to 45.67. Another level, there's an A to B equals CD. This is the one that takes us back to 2009. That says 50.38, more likely 58.27, longer term, is on the the horizon. We've got a caller on the line. It's Brent in Martinez, California. Brent, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? I'm doing great, Steve. How about you? I am doing well also. Thanks so much for asking. And I believe we're going to talk about Alibaba. BABA -B -A is the ticker symbol, trading out at 158 and change. I tell the folks uh, what you're looking at and how I can best help you. I don't have a position at present, but I just am looking at it. I've been following some of those stocks. They've been getting pretty beat up. And I, the only thing I really see pattern-wise, potentially, is, is uh, if you look at the weekly and go back to, looks like October of 2020. Yeah. That would be the high. You know, it's around 320. Yes. It looks like about $110. I mean, there's actually multiple ABC patterns, but you can kind of – but uh, that's a big one. That's the big one that you're identifying. Yeah, yeah I think the biggest one, then, of course, the B point would be in December, you know, it's yeah. down at 210, and then, you know, the C points up in February at around 280. And then, so I think it's surpassed the one to one, but that's, you know, look at that part. I think on the, the daily counts, there's not necessarily anything there. I think it's kind of recycled and stuff. Yeah. Hey, Brent, uh, just uh, uh, I'll, I'll, we'll come right back to this. We're about to go to a hard break in about four seconds. So we'll come back with Brent in Martinez, California, and we'll take a look at Alibaba. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. And he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. 
Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text, either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. We're taking a look at the charts here for Alibaba. B-A-B-A -A is a ticker symbol. We're on the line with Brent in Martinez, California. Brent was good enough to identify the A to B equals CD down pattern, which has exceeded the one-to-one -one level, which is 166.20. Now, we use these price projection levels, these D points, if you will, really as guidelines, not to the specific penny, tick, PIP or anything along those lines. Uh, but we do look for price to get into that one-to-one -one level. About 60% of the times is where a one-to-one -one, uh, pattern will complete. But how do we know what the other 40% are? So there's a number of different tools that, that we use for that. That's really not Brent's question right now. Brent is uh, trying to search to see if there's some kind of a bottom out here. So the very first thing before I go to my white background charts, Brent, is I'd be paying attention to today's candle. Since we know we've got an A to B equals CD on the weekly, and there are several, as you pointed out, there are many A to B equal CD down patterns inside Alibaba. At least what we'd be looking for here is some type of bullish reversal candle. And it has potential. Although it looks like a hammer today, it's not just yet. And the reason is it's just got too much of a wick on the uh, top of that. But if Alibaba could close somewhere around 160, uh, which is in essence uh, close to the high of the day, I think it's just underneath that, that would then generate a bullish hammer candle. And that would say, okay, let's go see what's going on on the weekly time frame. Now, the weekly would need to, uh, one of the patterns certainly would be the A to B equals CD pattern out here. Um, and we don't know what that might look like by Friday. But the first signal would come, I think, from the daily time frame chart. And that's actually confirmed, Brent, because if we take a look at the daily chart here, the only pattern that I have, potential pattern that I would have out here for Alibaba, would be the A to B equals CD down. 
pattern. So there we need to see the bullish reversal candle. And the reason to be looking for that, it turns out that on a weekly basis, this is going to be or appears that this will be bar number nine of a TD nine count. Now, of course, next week could see a lower low and that pattern would still be alive. But what we typically do here, folks, is we go from a larger time frame, such as a weekly. And if we've got a signal, then we look for the confirmation to come to us, in this case here from the daily. That's why watching for a bullish candle today would be helpful on a 30 minute time frame if, if the pattern if the if the daily was confirming a bottom and there is a um, if it, which it hasn't yet but if it did we would then go take a look at a short-term time frame chart one of the time frames I like to use is the 30 minute chart out here to look for some type of bottom well it turns out right now the 30 minute has a wave number seven pattern that's letter G it has a road momentum indicator pattern that is uh, and prices above it's oscillator and change line at the top of the profile. So Alibaba right now, Brent, looks like it's going to go target 163.13. Um, I don't know when it will get to that level, but there's odds favor that you could see that bullish hammer candle today. And in essence, what you're looking for is to get up to the high of the day. Was it today? Uh, yeah, the high of the day, uh, which is around the 160 level. Um, so does that help you out? It does, yeah. This would be a trade. I, I honestly don't do a lot of the Chinese stocks. I never owned one as you know, actual shares themselves, but I have done options on them, like Baidu and some of them. And that's what this would be. I just do call options on it. It looks like it had some potential, and they're doing a good job of, of going through what I was hoping to see. It does, you know. So, so should you enter the trade, or whenever you, when, whenever you do, if if you do, one of the things that you'd be looking for ideally would be a close above one sixty three thirteen. Again, that does not have to be today. And in fact, if it gets up to one sixty three thirteen today, we we probably lose its bullish candle configuration. So, to a certain extent, you're hoping that this stops at around the one sixty level, at least to give you that signal. Um, but a close above one sixty three thirteen would be the first change in trend signal. That's a TD nine break down resistance level for the 30 minute time frame so uh it's got some promise and uh, just keep your eyes uh open here it's it, it's got the promise out there and then on a daily basis if you did take or, or you, whatever kind of option trade you might put on here the daily resistance level that price needs to clear is going to be 172.31 or thereabouts that number is going to change as price moves up and down but that's your ballpark range brent okay thank you very much steve i really appreciate it. you have a great week and i hope you had a good will do Will do. You too. Thanks so much for calling. That was Brent in Martinez, California. We've got Mike in Sarasota who wants to take a look at a couple of different instruments out here. This coming in by email. Mike wants to take a look at, I believe it is, the trade desk, TTD. Let's go see if that's what it is. TTD is what he wants to look at, so that is the trade desk out here. Mike's looking to put on some type of uh, call spreads out here. And his question is, uh, what's the likelihood of uh, the trade desk getting to 85 buckaroonies? Uh, I'd say odds are really good as we speak at 123 in the afternoon. The reason, Mike, is you've got a brand new bullish structure daily profile that formed this morning. You've got that at your back. So it makes uh, since you already have identified the trade out here, um, I don't even have to go look, although I will go look to see if there's some kind of pattern that is out there. You just simply have this nice bullish structured profile at your back. And typically, when price closes above the center, which it is trading well above the center, which is at 77.44, you're at 79.51, then odds favor that buyers are able to push price up to the top of that profile, 86.66. Now, the signal of the new profile that formed today, not only is it bullish in structure, also it is another indication of a consolidating market. I'm not saying the trade desk, I don't think it's, it's got much of a percentage waiting in the indice that it's in out here, but you can see that new profile wrapping around the prior profile out here. So we're just in this kind of consolidating market. I know you're saying, hey, Steve, well, how can you say that with the ES Mini up at its uh, new all-time high and the same thing in the NQ? Hey, I'm just sharing with you what the uh, chart patterns are communicating to us, and I don't want um, don't want Mike to get too carried away here. Get it up to 86.60 six would uh, probably probably be the end of uh, of that move while it consolidates out there with regard to my other background charts well, uh, or my white background charts I should say out here uh, no signal of, of any kind of bottom your resistance here uh, is going to be 8204 and if price closed above 8204 because that's the oscillator and change line and it's green it closed above that there's nothing more bullish than a rising price oscillator above zero you close above it 
which right now is printed 8204, that becomes your bullish message to get you the 8666. I'd say the 80, $82 and change level, that seems to be a foregone conclusion out there. The other instrument that you wanted to take a look at is uh, Cliff's Natural Resources, I believe, CLF. Let's go uh, put this up on the uh, screen. In the case of CLF, what Mike is looking for is the question is, will this get to 26 buckaroonies? Well, Price is back inside its daily profile. Uh, both the bottom and the center were at the same level, which was 23.59. So the resistance level here on the daily basis, Mike, is 24.54 out there. No idea whether price will get above that. Price is trading above the top of its weekly and its monthly, so that looks pretty good. Let's pull over CLF, see if there's any other signals out here that Mike can use for this potential trade. And uh, in this case here, no bottom signal, only the daily profile. If price can close above it, you know, is that uh, give you some kind of uh, some kind of bullishness? Uh, uh, twenty four eighty six. So price is likely targeting twenty four fifty four to twenty four eighty six. From a pattern standpoint, if you were to ask me which of these two looks better, I think it's Alibaba by far. Um, no, that was Brent who wanted to look at Alibaba. It was uh, the trade desk. The trade desk, for sure. So, uh, Mike, I hope that that helps you out. Yeah, those were the two that you were looking for. So thanks for taking the time to write in. Folks, I'd love to hear from you as well. You can send me an email, steve at tfn.com. Put a uh, uh, radio show question, if you would, in the uh, subject line. And we get back to this break for John in the Tiger's Den. We're going to go take a look at September Copper. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other tigers and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors tfnn is excited about our new software charting program the art of timing the trade charts in collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com.
This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. we got the Dr. Copper Church up on our screen out here, our eight-panel uh, church. And the question inside the uh, den from John is, uh, I rebought uh, September Copper Friday. Uh, is this a good bottom? If so, where does the rally run into resistance? So to answer your question, is it a good bottom? It is uh, from the standpoint that it completed an A to B equals CD pattern. So the A to B is this little blue line that I've drawn out here. And I'm just going to take that over to where the C point is. And, and this made more than a one-to-one a to B equals CD. That's okay. But you did get that bullish engulfing candle on Friday. And so therefore, the question is, it's a solid bottom. It is a certainly solid bottom from a pattern standpoint. But then comes the next question, which is where does the rally run into resistance? Right where it's trading right now, which is the oscillator and change line, which is red. And so what that means, John, it means the price oscillator is still below zero. And as long as price closes below a red oscillator and change line, we still have a falling price oscillator below zero. Not the ideal setup. Now, that's resistance. Where is support? Well, certainly the low of Thursday because of the bullish engulfing candle. But the first level of support you're going to be watching and observing is $4.21, 4.2126. That is the daily profile that price has gotten back inside of. So ideally, so when we take a look at the daily time frame chart, remember we look at the daily or any time frame. In this case here, we're looking at the daily time frame and it says, okay, I'm up at resistance. What's going on on the intraday charts out here? Well, John, it turns out that on the five hour time frame chart, which I know is a chart time frame you love, as do I, you are in bar number nine of a TD nine count. So that says the high, or at least a temporary high, could be in right now. That could also not occur until the market close today. Uh, this candle on a five hour chart should close at 2 p.m. So in about uh, 28 minutes. If we look at the four hour time frame chart, 240, price has made its way up to its TD9 breakdown resistance level, 4.2370, and it's done it with a TD9 count. Now, in its case, if on the four hour time frame, price can close above. The high of the bar following bar number nine, 4.2465, that would be bullish. Uh, but let's just go with what we have now. The 60-minute chart has Rhodes Mintum Indicator Top. That last 60-minute bar was a, a dark cloud cover candle. Uh, you've got a Rhodes Mintum Indicator Top on the 30-minute. But price, it's really a neutral signal on a 30-minute. Price above its profile, but it's below its oscillator and change line. So... Really what I want to share with you, John, is it a good bottom? Absolutely. It was a buy the D point. So nice move there. Nice job there. Price is at resistance. No idea who's going to win this battle, but this is where the battle is taking place as we speak right now. If price pulls back, where does it pull back to? You know, that's a great question out here. And there are a number of different areas that I would be looking at, but pretty much it would be on the 240 and the five hour charts and it would be their profiles, their oscillator and change line and uh, things like uh, that. Uh, yeah, you do love the monthly chart out here in uh, Dr. Copper uh, as price has pulled back and it's just tested that green oscillator and change line. So that message there, folks, is very bullish long term. But John's really interested in the battle that's going on right now. And that battle exists on the daily, on the 30, on the 60, on the 240 and the five hours. So as your pilot, uh, I'm just suggesting that you uh, fasten your seat belts. That's all. But if price can clear these areas here, uh, then you're looking at a move up into the 430 to 4.35 4 level. So that's what's going on when we take a look at Dr. Copper. Let's go to our next question. This one coming in from Vicky. And uh, Vicky wants to take a look at can I go over what? Oh, it's long, you're long the semis out here. S-O-X-X. -X. So, yes, we'll go take a look at that. Give me a moment to get back to uh, steering that screen. Let's get over to this screen here. Let's go take a look at the ETF SOXX, SOXS, -X -X, and, and give Vicky some of the information that she's looking for here. It's just You just want me to go over it. So here's where you've got resistance. So the semis, now, we're, you know, 
we really want to take a look at the indice. The problem with the indice is I don't have any profile levels that I can give to you. So here's what you're looking at. Been a heck of a move. Uh, price was inside a bullish structured profile that formed today, and price is already up at resistance, Vicky. And that's at 457.89. The high today is 457.94. I'm not saying that price can't get above that level. Not at all. But I am telling you, that is where the sellers are. They're firing at you. Now, if price can get above that level, where is it headed to next? Excellent question. Not much higher. 460.81. That's the weekly top of its bearish structured profile out there. So right now, just like John and uh, Dr. Copper is uh, dealing with sellers, so too are you when it comes to the semiconductor index. Now, I'm not saying the seller jettison your position, but I do want you to know that uh, you also are going to need to fasten your seatbelts. Now, what I'm going to do here, and I'll pull it over to the screen so I don't have to go changing my screens and stuff like that, is pull over the semiconductor, the, so the SOX index. And so as I take a look at the SOX out here, um, it's populated for signals. This generated a nice TD nine count bottom three trading sessions ago. And basically it did it right at its breakout level in the 3216 area. Price is above the green oscillator and change line. So now what I'm going to do is give you a reward. If price can take out that profile level, the reward is in now this is not dealing with SOXX. This is just dealing with the semiconductor index, which you'll want to watch. The reward is that price gets up to 3409.45. That may be the end of it. That might not. But right now for the Sox, you're watching the levels of 457.89 and you're watching the levels of 460.81. Uh, if you give me a moment here, let me get over to my other radio charts out here and let me put up a short term. Yeah, just the daily and the weekly. So let me get this up here on my screen and I'll pull it over in a moment and... Was it the Sox I was going to do that? Yeah, uh, yeah. I think I think that it was. Give me a second. I, kind of a brain fart there. Uh, why was Stevie doing what he's doing? I don't know. I'm just going to stick with it. So here we take a look at the. Uh, no, that's uh, obviously was 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 that's not what I was thinking. Oh, actually, I was. I wanted to see if on a short-term time frame if there was some kind of a top out here. And the answer is there is not. That's the 30-minute chart out here. 10-minute chart, yeah, it's got a top. And price might pull back. This is the SOX. This is the SOX index. Might pull back to about the 33.31, maybe even get all the way to 33.02. But it's a short-term. That's just a 10-minute chart. I won't get too married to it out there. The daily still looks pretty good. So I hope that helps you out, Vicky, with regard to SOXX, which has got a little bit of a battle going on. And that's called where sellers reside at the top of its daily daily profile. Michael P. writes in and he says, hey, hey, Steve. Hey, Michael. How does MRNA look as a uh, long? Let's go find out. MRNA, Moderna out there. Let's go see what it is doing. MRNA. And it is uh, trading inside its uh, bullish structured, slightly bullish structured daily profile. So, Michael, I would say if price can close above 413.30, you're trading right now at 408.02. Does it have to be today? No. But if it is today, what you're looking at, again, if you can close above 4.1330, price should be able to make its way to 4.6663, the top of its daily profile. Now, before price gets up there, it has a interlude at 4.4081. 4.4081 is the top of its weekly profile, brand new profile that is formed this week. So there's your resistance and your price target levels out here. Let's take a look at Moderna's daily chart, see if there's any other signals out here that Michael needs to be aware of. Because there is one, Michael, 4.2138. Forget about the 4.13 level. 413, 421 and change is where price needs to close above to signal that move to the 466 level. Michael, thanks so much for writing in. I hope that helps you all. Best of luck with that uh, trade. I don't see any other signals to be concerned with at the moment. We'll be right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value 
or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, so Johnny D writes in, wants to take a look at uh, Verizon. Ticker symbol is VZ. And uh, Johnny would like to take a uh, long position in Verizon. So uh, first, as we take a look at its uh, daily, weekly, monthly profiles, we have mixed messages out here. So for example, one of those messages, let's start with the monthly first. Price is trading below the bottom of its bullish structured monthly profile. This would suggest to me price is gonna go target the low of February, and that is in the 53.83 level. If I look at the weekly profiles, or weekly, yeah, the weekly profiles, brand new one. This looks like a profile Monday out here. Brand new one that is formed. Now this profile has formed in essence below the prior profile. So what this says, that's kind of a bearish signal, Johnny. And so it says, hey, you might get a rally, but likely that rally is not going to exceed the top of the profile. What I mean is close above it, 56.48. So a little bit of a concern there. The daily profile, the exact opposite. It formed a new profile about three trading sessions ago, slightly above the prior profile. So it's got a little bit of a bullish message to it. So when we're confused, what do we do? Well, we continue to look at charts when we're confused. And let's go look at the other daily time frame chart for any kind of bottom signal. Well, it turns out, those of us that like wave number seven, that's letter G, that's part of the Basil Chapman wave out here, that actually formed on August the 10th. Now, August the 10th takes price all the way up to the top of its profile, it actually closed above it on August 17th, but the very next day back below. Remember, we like to see two closes, consecutive closes above resistance or below support to help confirm the signal out here. So now we're just kind of like consolidating sideways. And I don't have, other than that wave number seven, letter G, I don't have any other kind of real bottoming signal for you. Um, 
Let's just see if on the weekly or the monthly chart, I don't know what your period of, you said you wanted to go long. I don't know for how long that is. I don't have any kind of a bottom signal on the weekly. Price below the, uh, is trading with inside that new profile, below its oscillator and change line. I'm going to suggest that you wait on Verizon right now. See if you can get this back to the 5414 level. Uh, which is its uh, breakout area for the weekly time frame. On the monthly chart out here, just a sideways consolidation, but because we're below profile levels, it too was suggesting to just be patient. So um, the chart patterns are clear, but entry right now, taking a long trade into it, to me, that is not clear with regard to Verizon out there. So I hope that helps you out. That is really the best I can do, uh, Johnny. And uh, thanks so much for taking the time to write in. Next question, final question I've got at this stage here, coming from Greg. And Greg, want, Greg wants to take a look at P-I-N-S. Is that Pinterest? P-I-N-S. Uh, let's go see what that is. That is Pinterest out here, trading right now at 54.58. So Greg says... It has Tesla rejected a swing low for May 13th, okay? And plus it was in an A to B equals CD down pattern, okay? And you're looking to add to a position. You've had some, you've had some uh, at about 22 bucks. Okay, so you're nicely, you've got a nice profit position. So let's actually go take a look at the charts and see what we see for Pinterest. The first thing that we see out here is prices below. This is now week number three, below the bottom of its bullish structured weekly profile. So that's never a good sign. There's a swing point on a weekly base for May 10th. That had 73 million shares. Price, uh, did it close below that level? Oh, I think, let's see, that was 53.94. And last week's close was 53.86. It was below it. 45 million shares, below 73. So lighter volume, but it has the potential here for an A to B equals CD to the downside on a weekly basis. So I think the A to B equals CD pattern you were looking at was on the daily time frame. I get that out there. Um, and you've got a new profile that's forming that is above price. So a new profile is forming or above price. That's a bearish message out here. It talks about overhead supply. Now, I'm not saying that price can't bounce all the way up to 55.70, maybe even 57.30 out there. And in the A to B equals CD pattern, yes, on uh, Friday, that confirmed a buy the D point with that bull sash candle. Uh, but now we also know there's a battle in front of you. That's at 55.16, 55.70, and 57.30. So you're already in a position out here, and you're looking to add to it. The question is, do we have a compelling reason to add to it? Well, you've got the A to B equals CD on the uh, daily time frame. You also had a TD9 count that formed out there. But I would feel more comfortable, since you're already in a position, I'd feel more comfortable. Uh, boy, 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 boy. So price, see, see here, Greg, how price has gotten up to that red oscillator and change line? I, I I can't add. I wouldn't be adding to it. I know you you know I don't want to you to average down for the sake of averaging down, um, or averaging up I should say from a price standpoint. But your question to me specifically from a technical standpoint I believe is is there a bottom pattern and there's two of them. You've got a TD nine count and you've got an A to B equals CD. You just have got some battles that are in front of you out here. Uh, the three different profile levels and 5941 out here. Let me see on the weekly chart. Was there any kind of signal here? And the answer is no. And this could easily get to 3491. So when I say easily, I don't mean like in a day or two. But that is the TD9 breakout target. And we've got an A to B equals CD to the downside. Even though not confirmed with price, or volume, I should say, it was confirmed with uh, price. So, yeah, I think it just, uh, Greg, uh, I see the reasons to take the trade out there. Uh, but I think it's got to do a little bit more uh, proving itself to you. Here on a 30-minute chart, let me just see. Maybe the proof is in. No, the proof is not in. The proof would be a close about 55 bucks. If this can close about 55 bucks, I could see adding to it then. But just realize that uh, it's not clear cut because there's a bunch of resistance inside of Pinterest out there. Thanks so much for writing in, Greg. I do hope that that helps you out. So we've got about two minutes left in this segment. Let me just check, see if there's any other requests out there. Oh, there is. Susanna in Canada wants to take a look at uh, MARA. M-A-R-A is the ticker symbol. 
And uh, let's do that for her. Let me get that fired up on my other charts. And uh, you also want to take a look at Bitcoin. Uh, so we'll take a look at both those. So this is Marathon Digital Holdings out here. It's uh, testing a prior swing point from back in August 9th that had 18 million shares. It's doing it on 50 million shares. So even though price is below that high at 37.77, price is going to go back and at least test that or should test that level. You're above profiles on the weekly as well as the monthly as well. So uh, that is a positive. Uh, today's move higher inside of Mara did trigger a Rhodes Momentum Indicator signal. Not a top, just a signal out there. If we did get a bearish reversal candle out here, Susanna, that would be telling you about a Rhodes Momentum Indicator top and price likely pulling back to 3314, maybe even 2736 to 2851. You don't have that signal just yet. That's got to prove itself to you. It has not. No other topping pattern that is out here. Uh, if anything, on a daily basis, I suppose there's an A to B equals CD to the upside. Uh, so let's go take a look at that from a volume standpoint. Give me a moment to do that. Um, so that volume was 18 million. Yeah, you're, so this is going to be an A to B equals CD to the upside. That is if price can close above 37.77. Um, Give me a second here. I want to come back and look at the weekly chart for you as well. And on the weekly chart, that looks pretty good, too. So your question is just to do the analysis. Um, I like it. I like the way that it's trading. And even though it rejected a prior swing point at this stage here, it's got the volume. It should be able to push itself above that. And I say, as long as price stays about 36.23, you should be in pretty good shape. So we get back from this breakout here, and we'll be in our last our two minutes. Uh, let me see, BTC, pound signs, yes, pound signs. We'll do the continuous contract out here so we can see where price is traded up to. So let's do that when we get back from this break for Oh Susanna. You ready? Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Markets can rise and fall like the tides. Subscribe to Basil Chapman's newsletter, The Opening Call, and you too can ride the wave. Basil Chapman is an authority in technical analysis. His Chapman Wave trading system has been helping traders identify trends and capitalize on momentum in the markets since 1984. TFNN invites you to test Basil's proprietary Chapman Wave trading methodology with a monthly subscription to the opening call newsletter for only $149. Your subscription to the opening call comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, as well as daily market updates on key indexes, stocks, and commodities. Ride the wave. Sign up for the opening call risk-free today. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty and amino acids in an easy to use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids 
Nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, without them, life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. Primal Edge. Just $89 exclusively at TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. So we got the chart for Bitcoin. I got the continuous contract up on my uh, chart out here. And uh, Susanna, this looks like it wants to go target 58,140. That's a TD9 breakdown level. No topping patterns or anything in place as we speak. On a 30-minute basis, this did form a TD9 count top. That has taken price back to its TD9 breakout level, 49,420, and it generated a TD9 count bottom. So watch 49,420. If price were to close below that, that would be a signal of a move back to 48,640, then 47,115. But right now, um, you know, you, uh, you had a nice uh, little move higher. You create a TD9 count top. Price pulls back to where it's supposed to. Again, watch the 49,420 level. The next question coming in from uh, Mark. Mark wants to take a look at ticker symbol BIGC. I'm just going to go to the white background charts out here. Mark is uh, uh, looking for entry into it. I don't have any kind of a, a bottom signal. Just, you well, let me take this back. Maybe there's an A to B equals CD. Give me a second to just kind of draw this in here. Um, yeah, okay. So you've got an A to B equals CD pattern out here. And price should target, since that's got a bottoming signal out here, should target its oscillator and change line at 59.03. I don't know whether it will clear that. If it does, your next resistance level above that, 61.29, 62.44. On a weekly chart, I uh, don't have anything here for the uh, big one, BIGC. But, yeah, if you're asking me, is there a bottom? There is. So where should price bounce to next? 59.03. So I hope that helps you out, Mark. Thanks so much for listening to the show and for writing in. I think there was one more question. Uh, this one coming in. The Dow seems stuck around 3,500. Do you think it's about to bust tire for already to discuss this? Uh, what I can share with you is that the uh, Dow... Come on, find it, Steve. Where is it? Dow Equity Future Contract. It's, it's just going to go target. It's up above its bearish structured profile out here, uh, Eddie. And so price should at least go target 35, 547. Folks, stay tuned. You've got two more great hours lined up for you. And uh, I'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow on Terrific Tuesday. Have a magnificent, a marvelous Monday, folks.